Yes. Mr. Deputy Chairman, yeah. I beg to move that the bill to amend the Securities and Exchange Board of India Act 1992, the Securities Contract Regulation Act 1956, and the Depositories Act 1996, as passed by the Lok Sabha, be taken into consideration. Sir, I may mention that in this regard, on the 18th of July 2013, my the UPA government had uh, brought out an ordinance which has now lapsed on the 18th of July 2014. Now there is a little period of a hiatus because the Lok Sabha has cleared it and after this bill is cleared by this house hopefully it will be notified. Except this hiatus period the ordinance has been in operation. This bill seeks to amend identically three pieces of legislation, the SEBI Act, the Securities Contract Act and the Depositories Act. Now, the amendments which have been proposed, and I'll also indicate the minor alteration that I have made in the bill which my predecessor had proposed, that this act has now a power to call for information and records from any person. The original acts had only powers to call for information from banks and other related financial institutions. There is also uh, a a power to call for information if it is across the borders from regulators in other countries and this is to be done on a reciprocal basis. In cases on account of these improper market practices, some, properties, uh, some profits are earned by a concerned person. These profits would be disgorged and would be credited to the Investor Protection and Educational Fund established by the SEBI. So profits earned out of illegal activities will not belong to the person who allegedly has uh, earned them. There is also a provision because uh, this law essentially deals with Ponzi schemes and various Ponzi schemes are covered under it as per the definition under section 11 A. There is some categories which are get left out of the definition. So a general category is also being proposed um, in section 11 A whereas the residuary Ponzi schemes can also be covered under this act. The original bill gave to the SEBI and the other organizations the power to conduct searches anywhere in the country. The original bill had a power where the organization had to go to the magistrates concerned who had jurisdiction in those areas and therefore ask for a search per permission. Now this used to leak out and the suddenness and surprise which is essential in the case of making a search effective was lost out. So the bill which was proposed by Mr. Chidambaram had a provision that the SEBI itself could do it in view of the opinions expressed by various persons including members of this honorable house when this has been informally discussed. I have marginally altered that. We have created a designated court in Mumbai and that designated court will have a jurisdiction every time a search is to be conducted these SEBI and the concerned organizations will require a prior uh, consent of those courts. There is a provision to establish uh, several special, special courts. There is also a provision for uh, compounding of uh, 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 various offenses and the power to recover abounds which was not there originally with these bodies has been also brought in. There is some alteration in the nature of penalties which are intended to be opposed, uh, pro imposed by these bodies. These are mostly procedural amendments except one or two substantive amendments which are there in this bill. And I commend to this honorable house this bill for its uh, acceptance after a discussion. Thank you.